Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So the question of the day is how do you get over someone that you were madly in love with? I have several tips for you, so stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming back. So let me just mention before I get started is to check out my online courses. Absolutely. I know that this is not your first time hearing this unless this is your very first time here. So I have courses for my single ladies. Absolutely check that out. If you need to build up your confidence yourself, absolutely get my super single course. You'll see the title there. If you are in a relationship in the dating stages, absolutely you need help to navigate through the dating stages and some information on step by step to keep you in a structured way to go through this dating thing then absolutely take my course on dating the third course that I have is for everybody that is in a long-term relationship or a marriage and you need a boost in your relationship absolutely need to bring back some of the romance passion intimacy respect etc check out that program that the discounted price is only there for a limited time so now I have eight ways to get over someone that you were madly in love with the very first thing is to give yourself a period of time where you can cry, you can scream, you can yell, you can moan, you can be depressed. You know, give yourself a period of time. Some people may need a couple days, some people may need a week, some people may need a month, for example. But take that period that you personally need because it's different for everybody. Take all the time that you need. But when that period is up, so say, for example, you gave yourself one week. When that one week is up, you get up. You stop all of that crying. You stop all of that screaming, that yelling, that woe was me. You stop all of that. You get up and you start to move on with your life. Reclaim your life back. After the grace period, set the time. Do all the moaning and screaming that you need. Get up. It's time to start to rebuild and repair and restructure, reshape your life. The second thing that you need to do is what a lot of people don't do. Listen up. The second thing that you need to do is to reflect on why your relationship did not work out in the first place. Because it takes two. And we can blame, 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 blame everybody else. But you know what? When you're looking in the mirror, the only person that's looking back is you. You are the only cause of why your relationship did not work out. Yes, your partner could have did X, Y, and Z. Yes, absolutely. It doesn't matter what they did because your focus is not on them. You absolutely cannot change your ex. I said your partner, but you can't change your ex. You can't not change that situation on why they left or why you had to leave. does not matter. What does matter is what you do next. So reflect on why the relationship did not work what was your part in the relationship on why it did not work out? Because we can point all of these fingers that we want to. But guess what? When you're pointing all these fingers, you still got three more that are pointing back at you. The, you played a part in it on why the relationship didn't work out. Trust and believe me, you played a part in it. Okay? And it's okay. But reflect on what it was. Reflect on what you could have done better. Reflect on what you need to correct so when the next time the next boo comes along, then you don't have to worry about this relationship not working out, at least for that particular reason again or reasons again. Take responsibility and reflect on your part. The third thing a lot of people do not do as well, which they take their baggage into another relationship. So the third thing is to take some time for yourself not to get in another relationship. Now, this period of time is different for every person, but you need to take care of your baggage from the last relationship. And especially if you've never taken your taken care of your baggage from any relationship, then you need to take a longer time in order to get you and your stuff right. Now, yes, shameless plug, that will absolutely help you if you go ahead and take my online course specifically for super singles. Now, this particular course, let me just throw this in there. This particular course can be for anybody. Maybe you are absolutely in a relationship, but you have yet to take care of yourself. You have yet to really understand what you absolutely need and want out of a relationship. You have really not understood who you are as a person. Take that course, that super single course. That Really, that course can be for everybody. That course can be for everybody. doesn't matter which stage of a relationship you are absolutely in. Now, getting back to the list. Number four. 
do not let that inner voice talk you into contacting that ex anymore. Be secure in the fact that you made the right decision. Even if they broke up with you, do not let this inner voice tell you, call, 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 text, 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 email, email, email. No. Cut all that off. No contact at all. Zero. I actually read a book about no contact, and I'm actually going to do, I've I read so many books in the past few weeks. I will be doing a lot of book reviews coming up really soon, but that is a book I will be talking about. Um, yeah, no contact. None. Zero. Zip. Zilch. Don't let, do not let that inner voice, do not let your friends, do not let your family start to tell you, you know what, go ahead and contact that person. The relationship ended for a reason. And it's okay. It's all right. It ended for a reason, though. It's okay, though. I actually already said number five, which is don't let the inner voice tell you that you were wrong about your decision and walking away. No contact at all. I'm just repeating it, but now I'm going to move on. Number six is to get back focusing on yourself. Focus on your freedom now. Focus on you being less dependent on somebody else. Focus on you being more independent. Right? It didn't work out. It's okay. It's all right. None of us want to go through a breakup, but it's okay when it happens. That's why you have to do that reflection. That's why you have to get rid of that baggage. That's why you have to know who you are. That's why you got to take my online courses. Yes, shameless plug throughout this video. Yes, check them out because they got the information that you need. Number seven is to start to get your finances back in order because a lot of times when we get into these relationships, we start to add people to credit and, and start maybe bringing down our credit for whatever reason. You're trying to help and build them up and, and then the relationship doesn't work out. Whatever happened, whether you're in a long-term relationship or even boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, it doesn't matter. Start to get your finances back in order because a lot of times when we're in these relationships, like I said before, a lot of times your credit starts to go downhill, okay? So unless you guys been together and you both are really, really good about your money, which most of us are not, but that's a different story, get your finances back in order, okay? The eighth and final thing that you can do is start to get some of that relationship weight back up off of you because now you are going to start being your super sexy self once again. And uh, yeah, when you start to meet the new boo, they need to see all the sexiness. And we know that we get comfortable in our relationships. And when we get comfortable in our relationships, uh, all of that working out. A lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times that goes to the wayside and you are eating more and more. Y'all doing more home cooked meals and y'all sitting around and eating versus going out more. And those pounds are starting to pack on. So start to get rid of some of that relationship weight. You can start walking, start running. You know, some of the things that you used to love to do, whatever it was that you did on a regular basis to keep yourself in shape, start doing those things again. That is absolutely going to help you feel more confident about yourself as well, as well as you shaking out some of those 5, 10 pounds that you gained along the way. All right? <laughs> Now, that these eight tips help you out, I absolutely want to know down in the comment section below. I don't care which platform that you are on. We have comment section, and I want to read your comments so we can keep the dialogue going on and off the video. So, definitely give me thumbs up or a like, depending on which platform you are watching me on. And, of course, follow me on my fan page and subscribe on my YouTube page. Hit the icon with my lovely face if you are on YouTube. So there are two ways on YouTube for you to go ahead and make sure that you follow me. Because here at I Love Me, 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 I am supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate. I will see you again tomorrow. Two-finger salute.